welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a beauty slash a couple of items from Zara haul video. Um, I have the dog once again on my lap. It's quite ironic because I have a sausage dog on my lap and then I have a French bulldog on my t-shirt. Funny. Um, so yeah, let's get started. The first thing that I bought, which I am still... Uh, I, I don't know whether I want to do or not do, is my hair dye. This is the one I use. This is the Schwarzkopf Live Colour XXL in 00A. There. Um, and it's pretty much one of the lightest ones that they do. And I've used this colour on my hair for years. And I know a lot of people say it's really, really bad for your hair, but I don't use it continuously. I use it about four times a year. That's all I dye my hair. Because I'm a natural blonde, but my obviously I'm like this. This is my natural colour. Um, it's getting to the point where I don't know what to do. Do I... I'm just unsure. I don't know whether to grow out my natural hair or dye it. So, it's looking likely that I'm gonna dye it. So that was the first thing that I bought. Second thing is this Neutrogena Visibly Clear Moisturizer, Oil-Free Moisturizer. Basically, I this is the second one. I have been going through this like nobody's business because it is so, so good. I have now got the entire Visibly Clear, that's what it's called, Visibly Clear like range by Neutrogena. So there is the face wash, there is like a toner and this. And I have to say, this has been amazing. Honestly, it's the only thing that is stopping my spots. And I, as you all know, I've had the worst look with spots recently. So this has been great. Um, another thing that I got was my BB More Beautiful Eye Cream. Um, this, I go through this quite quick. This is like my fourth one, I think. Uh, this is just for my under eye because that moisturizer is not good for under eye. But this is brill. The next uh, things I bought was shampoo. I've been using the Dove Repair Hair Therapy ones and I have really, really been enjoying them and there's nothing wrong with them at all. But I wanted just a change. So I wanted to find a shampoo that was like for mix mixed hair type because my hair is like, after like one day, not even one day, like three or four hours after washing my hair, it goes greasy at the roots so quick and then it goes really dry at the ends. So I wanted to find a shampoo that like for mixed, for mixed hair and I found these Garnier Mixed Hair Shampoo. Um, I haven't tried them yet so I'll have to tell you how they go but it's for mixed hair, so I mean, you don't find these ones all the time. It's either for dry hair, for greasy hair, for coloured hair. So this is for mixed hair. So we will see how this turns out. So this is the Garnier mixed hair one, and it's like that. Then I bought, now I've been looking at these for a while, but I was like, they can't be good. But, and mm, I'm still, undecided what I think about these. These are the um, bubbles that say they cause, what do they say? They say they don't tangle, you don't get a headache, they don't cause split ends, stay in place because they have a strong grip for all hair type types. So yes, I would only agree probably with one of them which would be the um, strong grip. They really do grip into your hair really tightly and to try and get them out, oh my god, it's painful. Um, these were, I think these were like five, four or five euros, so they're not cheap. Uh, but yeah, if I put my hair in a bun on the top of my head, then these are perfect for that because they're not going to move. Um, like, like if you just like grab it all up, bun, this is great. For a ponytail or something like that, I mean, if they're there, I will use them, but I will not go and grab them out of my drawer. I will go and grab a normal bobble, so. I'm glad I tried them. I don't know if they're highly recommended. The next thing I got was a back combing brush. This, um, I'm really 
excited to try this. So I got this for um, back combing, and then I got this one for teasing. So this is once you've like put curls in your hair, it's great to just like tease it with a wide tooth comb. So this is for back combing and this is for teasing. That's why I have to get the two together. Right, they're very good. I cleaned out all my nail varnishes a couple of weeks ago and I've, I have really, really condensed it down to um, about 15 nail varnishes now. So I have like reds and blacks and you know, really just one of each color. And the color that I was missing was like a coral color. So I went and found this one. This is by P2, which is the same brand of these nails, which is a, just a cheap German brand. Um, and yeah, this is a really nice color. And the color payoff on these are just great. And they do last for about a week. Sorry, that dog, could you see what he's doing? They do last for about a week, so and they have like the gel look polish. So I'm gonna take this off because it's pretty much chipping and I'm gonna repaint it with that one. Um, then I got mascara. I really wanted a new mascara, just to try a new mascara, because obviously I love my uh, Boots Natural Collection, but I can't get that here, so I have to get that shipped to me. So it would just be so much easier if I could just fall in love with a mascara here. Uh, so I am still always on the hunt for a decent mascara that doesn't look too, but just looks nice and natural. Um, and so I decided to just try this one. And this is the Extreme Volume Extra Black Mascara Waterproof. <gasps> Boom! So I'm excited to give this one a try. I haven't even looked at it yet, so let's get this out. Hmm, it's got the brush that I like. I really like these kinds of brushes. I hate them plastic brushes. You know, the new plastic brushes. I'm just not the biggest fan of the plastic brushes. I like the bristle brushes. Bristle brushes, br bristle brushes, bristle brushes. Anyway, whilst I was at P2, I seen the these kind of pens. So it's basically like a liquid, not liquid, but like a creamy eyeshadow. Um, oh, that's a nice color, that brown and then you get like this bit on the end to like smudge it out. Well I haven't tried it yet so we will see how that goes. But the only thing that I'm really being a bit stupid about is that I can't figure out how to how this coat goes up. Like or is that all the product you get? So I have no idea. So I haven't tried that yet. And I, I'm not the biggest fan of liquid, like cream eyeshadows. I know my sister swears by cream eyeshadows, but I really don't. So we will see how that turns out. I mean, once it's smoked out like that, that looks pretty nice. I've been on the hunt for um, eyeshadows. And the eyeshadow color that I've been on the hunt for is like a very neutral white. So not, not like stark white, but like a neutrally white. Um, so I went to Essence and found this one. And this is in 01 Chilled Out. And I honestly, honestly, honestly thought this is gonna be really nice. And then I put it on and it wasn't. They just, there was just no color, color payoff whatsoever. And that looks so like, wow, that's what I swatched it as. And then when I actually transferred it onto my eye, it just pretty much disappeared. So as far as this being its own color, no, as a base, I will totally use it as a base. It's just not gonna be very good as its own color. The next thing was kind of like an impulse buy. You know, I had all these in my arms and I'm just walking to the tail and then I see the big stand with this on it. So this is the Maybelline Baby Lips, Baby Lips in orange flavor. And then it comes with the, um, the Colossal Go Extreme Volume Mascara. So I was like, uh, orange baby lips? Yes, I will be trying that because everybody knows I love baby lips. Let's get this out. I want to smell it. So then it comes with the mascara, which I've never ever used the Colossal Mascaras before. But, oh, cool. It's not got a thingy brush. It's actually got a, is this like bristle? Yes, it's a bristle brush. 
that is very cool because I'm just not the biggest fan. I was worried that this would have plastic brush uh, bristles, pr plastic bristles, but no, it doesn't. I really want to smell this orange baby lips. Yeah, it tastes really orangey, so yes, if you can pick these up, these look really good together. So yeah, this was very, very good. I think it was about eight, nine? I can't remember. Um, I can't remember how much this was, but it wasn't expensive because I mean, one of these on its own is like three, and one of these is like eight, so um, it was definitely cheaper than that. Okay, so that's it for, oh no, something else. What are you doing? Just um, some chewing gum. Yeah, so that's it for makeup. And then I went to Zara, um, not yesterday, the day before, and I picked up a couple of things. Zara! Um, yeah, I picked up three things in the sale, because the Zara sale is going on. The Zara sale starts in January, like beginning of January, and I went the beginning of January, it was just so, the, the stuff wasn't even that discounted, like it was quite expensive. Um, but then near the end of January, I remember this from last year, that they really slash the prices. So I've got, I went, yeah, two days ago, and the prices have really come down. So I was like, uh, yes, oh, it's taco, relax. So I was like, uh, yeah, I will be buying some things because it's actually more affordable now than it has been. So the first thing that I picked up that I really, really fell in love with because of the colour was this top. I don't know if the colour payoff is, um, whoa. I don't know if this colour is going to pay off very well on camera, but it is this gorgeous, it's a lot brighter in person. It's gorgeous yellow top and it's got like um, different, so it's like cotton and then it's got like nice little detailed arms and a detailed little bit at the bottom. Um, and it's just a nice round neck top and it should have been 20 and it's gone to 10. So that's pretty good. Um, the next one is like a fun little lounge around t-shirt um, and it's this one. I really like her. She's like a crazy cool girl. And she has got um, a hot dog for a necklace and then like Starbucks shoes for shoes. Starbucks cups for shoes. And this was, it should have been 17 and it's down to six. So that was really good. And then this next one, I just wanted like an oversized t-shirt. So this was just Perfect, it's really nice quality. It's just a nice round neck t-shirt, quite long and really good quality. And this was 17 again down to six. So that's all I got from Sarah, just those three pieces, just three tops. I didn't want to force myself to like, oh my god, everything's in the sale, so you have to buy. You know when you get that like madness feeling that you're just gonna buy for the sake of buying because you know it's all cheap. The stuff wasn't crazy cheap. I know it's gonna go down probably once more. Um, so that's when you get all the really good stuff. So I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on the Zara for the next couple of weeks. Um, and then the last thing that I got, there's a story behind. Basically, Dave bought me a Samsung camera for um, Christmas and the video quality on it was just not very good. It wasn't HD well full HD so I could you know record on it and it was fine but when I come to like um, watch it on the laptop the quality was just not very good so we ended up taking the camera back and exchanging it for another camera so obviously this time I was with him and I set my heart on a camera that has a viewfinder screen. Is that, does that make any sense? So I ended up getting this Panasonic camera and the reason that I fell in love with this camera is because it looks a little like this. Oh my god, look how amazing it is. And it's such a nice colour, so white. this is classed as red, but it's wine. And it also has this little feature 
such as this. So it is so perfect for vlogging so I can see actually what I am vlogging because I'm not the best at keeping my head in shot when, you know, I'm vlogging. So to be able to see what I'm doing is great and I do love the fact that it just flips back down. Love it. Right everyone, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was a bit of a random bunch of stuff, but um, yeah, just wanted to show you some of the stuff that I've bought because I haven't done a haul video in so long. I am in the midst of finishing decorating my living room. I've got some new stuff coming and new stuff to go and buy and pick up. So once that is all done, I will do a living room apartment tour thing. Uh, for you all because I did a massive shop at Ikea But there was a few things not in stock so I still have to go and get a few more things But once I have got them I will happily do an apartment living room Tour because I've got so much Ikea stuff that I want to show you. Okay, so I guess that's the end of this video If you have any comments leave them in the comment bar below and yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. I knew you were gonna lick my face. Bye everyone. Bye.